So this will be an update uh, relating to the Karelian video, the last one I did. And one of the things I will say, if I have a problem and when I bring it up, it's not because I already have a solution because I'm not one to sit there and whinge, but quite simply, if there is a major problem, I'll flag it. At the same time, it's normally also I have a solution for it. One of the problems, the fundamental problems in the FM industry today um, is the fact the transparency on the information is not good. As such, the data that people are managing contracts on is not good. People's training is not being invested in properly. Um, I remember a survey of a hospital where they had five members of the same family. They were all allegedly surveyors. Um, I would hazard a guess not one of them was actually a surveyor. But that's why I was there fixing the work. But the, the point being, there is big problems in FM. And you'll get the lip service at the top because they do all. The, they're just yes men, and I, it's the only way I can say it. They're yes men. I brought problems in Carillion to the top because they weren't getting resolved, and they were just passed back down to my line manager um, because it's deemed that the line manager should sort it out, even though that was the problem. Um, he was passing the responsibility to the contractor. Contractor wasn't doing his job properly, and it ended up costing about a million pounds. But Hey-ho, welcome to the world of FM. One of the fundamental issues you've got is because people can hide things, and they do, in the same way if a, it's very common for a director that is on a failing contract to hop onto a new one. And then another contractor, another uh, director will hop in there, do it for a few months, then hop off again because it's a failing contract. And they shouldn't be allowed to move around like that. They should be locked into a contract for a three-year period. Um... Why? Because they should be tied to the contract that they are part of from the beginning. And I would also say there's an issue relating to bid teams because bid teams will undercut things because the, <laughs> if they don't know these contracts ain't viable, they're, they're pretty stupid. Um, but the, the point being is they don't have to deal with the consequences. There's too much disconnect and self-serving in Alpha FM. Um, now, like I said, I have a solution for this, which is move everything to the blockchain. One of the big problems you have with surveys is the data is often owned by the FM company. I'm saying clients take ownership of it, and clients stick it all on the blockchain. So when, like with uh, RBS, Mighty shredded all the, um, the compliance documents, um, that wouldn't happen. And more importantly, well, it shouldn't have happened anyway, but more importantly... If it did happen, you would still have everything from the blockchain because the blockchain becomes your centralized source of information. The other side of that being, from a compliance point of view, you can see failures because the blockchain, you can manipulate in ways to identify things on contracts. So if you're a contractor who's not meeting their um, obligations or you can see, for example, um, certain FM companies that do this, they sign off every contract on the 30th day so that, um, sorry, all the outstanding jobs on the 30th day so the guaranteed payment um, and no fines, whether the job's completed or not, um, you would know that. Why? Because a leak in your urinal that has been leaking for four months yet is signed off as complete for the last three and a half the system will recognize it's never been fixed. And the same goes for pretty much everything because you can put on there data like with BIM, BIM data. So when you're getting a new building built, when it's got all the information related to what type of windows are installed, what walls are there, what paint's on the walls, because obviously if you've got older buildings, you may still have some issues around the paint or asbestos and things like that, that information can go on the blockchain. The amount of contracts I know that actually say we've got asbestos and still don't even know where it all is, it, it's scary. It really is scary. Um, now, the funny thing is nobody wants to fix this stuff because nobody wants to see it. And this is why I make myself very unpopular right now. But I'll be honest with you, my obligation is not to a company. My obligation is to the end client customer. Although I work for the FM companies most of the time, uh, when I first started, I used to sit between the client